All right, so just recap what we uh, covered previously. So previously, we looked at uh, how we choose the displacement function. So if you look at the bar, we start with a linear equation, u equal to a1 plus a2x, then we convert into matrix form, u equal to 1x uh, square bracket times the uh, coefficient a1 and a2, and then we already defined uh, in our previous lecture, we define what is a1, what is a2 according to the length and u1 and u2, okay? So at the end, we arrive at this equation that you see on the screen here. So our u1 will equal to bracket 1 minus x minus l, x divided by l, and these two is the shape function. You can uh, uh, label 1 minus x divided by l is n1, which is called shape function. x divided by l by n2. This is point number 2, this is point number 1, and displacement as usual. u1, u2 is displacement. Okay. So we did link uh, the shape function and uh, we did link the, uh, our displacement function with this u equal to n1, n2, and u1, u2 in this form. Okay, Or you can write in the blue color equation, u equal to u1 minus x divided by l u1 plus x divided by l u2 as your displacement function. Okay. Now today we'll look at uh, something new. Okay, look at something new. Okay, now we look at transformation of vector in two dimension. Okay, we look at transformation of vector in two dimension. What does it mean? It means that today what we're going to do is that we're going to transfer, we're going to link two different reference points, uh, not reference point, reference axis for normally we look at x and y, and then we have uh, spring or bar on by referring to the reference uh, point. Let's say we have point one and point two, right? Point one, point two, and then we have a spring or bar. Huh? So we have a spring or bar that refer to x and y. So today we're going to link this one by another axis where you rotate this axis at a certain angle, theta, and we label as x1, y prime, and x prime. So we're going to refer what happened, how you communicate between these two axes with the same uh, location of point 0.1 and point 0.2. All right, so how you communicate the green color 1 and 2 on the red color axis to the blue color axis. Okay, stop me eh, if you're not able to understand uh, what you see on the screen later on. Okay, now what you see on the screen now is a normal axis that we see in our problem or in our question. So you have uh, X and Y that normally we cover in chapter one, chapter two. Uh, zero means origin, X is to the right, Y is y is the vertical on the to the right on top there so we label the blue color axis as global coordinate x y okay this is the first name for this morning global coordinate let's say we give a red clause in the middle of the screen Okay, I start adding things huh? step by steps. You have the axis, then you have a point in the middle of the, the graph here. Then you have a vector, a label as a vector from origin, from origin to the point. Let's say your point one, point two, and point three. In, we only look at one point first. So we have a displacement, vector displacement that moves from origin to the red cross in, in the screen, right? On the screen. And we label at D, this D vector. 
uh, vector. Uh. So vector, you know the vector have direction and magnitude. Yeah? Direct, direction and magnitude. So you know that when vector, when you draw a vector, uh, let's say I use a normal vector, okay? Normal vector. You know that you can break your vector in axis. Okay, with that angle. Okay, so you can break into Vx and Vy as you learn in your vector uh, chapter in your mathematics. Eh? So you can break this uh, vector into x and y axis. So same with this case, like what you see on the screen. So you can break D uh, into x and y axis. So what, what is the procedure here is that we start labeling the point. So for example, A to B is the uh, y, y component. O to A is the X component. Okay, so as we learned previously, all the displacement, uh, we know that the, red, uh, the white color arrow is our vector of our displacement. So all the displacement in X direction we label as U. All the displacement to y direction we label as v. So you can write d equal to u plus v. Agree? So if you're not agree, let me know. Huh? Anything that doesn't make sense to you, let me know. Huh? I'm going to very slow uh, before we arrive at the final matrix form. Okay, make sure you understand what, what we are talking about this morning. Okay. It's important. Eh? So we are now converting what is happening on a normal global axis. A normal vector, we convert this vector to X and Y axis. That We put this uh, white color vector onto the X axis and Y axis. And we label as U in X direction, V in Y direction. Okay, eh? And we have a point of A to B, O to A, meaning the length of the original vector is O to B, original length of U is O to A or 0 to A, length of V is from A to B. Okay. And I start adding some vector unit on the screen which is your i hat and j hat so if this is what you learn in your vector chapter in your mathematics in x direction we use i unit i hat or your unit uh, vector i in y direction we use j hat and what happened if we flip, or not flip, but we rotate the blue color axis, your X and Y at a certain angle, theta. Okay. Then, yeah. And need to take note for this morning, this angle positive in counterclockwise direction from x to x prime okay from x to x prime counterclockwise huh? positive so start from today the angle from axis will always counterclockwise we count as positive so if you calculate the angle, let's say you in your calculation later on, you calculate your reach the final answer theta equal to negative 30 degree. It means that you rotate your, your axis in this direction, clockwise direction. Okay, meaning your, let's say this is your X, if your answer is negative 30, means the system already rotated down 30 degree. 
for your for your info. Huh? So if you get positive, means a normal going up, means anticlockwise direction. Take note, huh? this is very important concept because uh, for this module, you always will be asked to explain what is the positive negative side of your answer. All right. Then we will add a new axis where after rotation of theta, we will label as yellow axis x prime, y prime. We call it local coordinate. Okay, so now this morning you, you recap. One is global coordinate, one is local coordinate. X prime, Y prime. Okay, so previously you learned about the F, capital F and small f. Capital F is global, small f is local. Uh, D, uh, capital K is global, small k is local. So today we're going to link all this information using axis. All right. So we are start developing. Eh? We start developing equation here already. So once you understand the blue color, yellow color, the white color, the anger, then we will start developing. Stop me. Eh? If you're not able to understand anything, you look on the screen. Stop me and ask me question. Don't wait until final exam or don't wait until test. I will I will ask you to go and look for a uh, video or lecture material. Okay. All right. So far, okay. Yeah. Uh? Sue, you okay? Yeah. Uh? Okay. All right. So local coordinate, global coordinate. Now. Start looking at the screen. Something will add on to your screen now. Is the again the vector unit? It is. If the vector is moving along the new local coordinate x prime, we will label as i prime hat. Y prime if is moving along the y prime axis, the yellow color axis. Our label as J prime hat. So now you have uh, more and more information. Okay, if you're not understand, stop me. Eh? I'm doing it a bit slow for today. Uh, transformation vector. There is a uh, equation later on from this diagram. Okay. Next, we will draw another line like what we did for AB. Now we draw another line that is perpendicular to the local coordinate, which is we add the C coordinate. But this line is perpendicular 90 degree from B. Okay, why we need this line? Because later on we're going to change this vector. We're going to change this white color vector onto the yellow axis. Okay. We're going to focus on the D white color. We're going to change it to X prime, Y prime axis. So same. So to, to do it, we need we need a uh, some reference point. So this dx and this x prime and dy prime. That's why we need this uh, this line, the dash line PC with the theta. Okay. There's a reason for every step here. Okay. Next, I will add in a red color arrow that what we I explained just now. We can change or not change, but we can split the white color arrow D, which is our vector displacement, onto 
the x prime y prime where we call a local coordinate the red color arrow <coughs> with the the d length or the magnitude and direction doesn't change eh? d is a vector so the magnitude if you measure b to uh, o to b still same it doesn't change the the nature of the magnitude we just uh, present it onto a different axis here so if you're referring to the yellow color axis you will see red color arrow so the d now you can split into o to c plus c to b okay yeah so it's a it's a different if you mention b c and c b is different huh? different things huh? in this case because we are talking about vector vector is direction have direction and magnitude if you mention bc it means b to c if you mention cb it means c to b the direction will be different huh? so uh, be careful after this when you mention about the direction point to point will be different yeah okay once we get the red color i will add in a new notation like what you see on the screen u prime would represent a direction along the local coordinate the yellow color axis x prime we label as u prime and you know that uh, previously your u is displacement v also displacement only the u is along x direction v is along y direction in this case you have a new uh, axis on the local coordinate or local axis so you just label as u prime and v prime yeah where we have more and more information at on from now stop me yeah? if anything on the screen doesn't make sense to you huh? so we have all this point we have 0 a b 0 c b um, all the prime x prime y prime and so on so make sure you understand what is on the screen okay i purposely changed the color so that you can identify the differences between the parameter Okay. All right. Uh, I spent lots of time in designing all this, huh? so I uh, hope you appreciate the effort. Okay, the next one. We need to put our what color vector here, the D, and we need to compare uh, between the U, V, and the what color, the what color U white color v and the red color u prime red color v prime so you're going to relate the blue axis your yellow axis with the white color u white color v red color u prime red color v prime yeah stop me yeah if you're not able to understand uh, what you see on the screen so you have the first equation for today. D equal to UI plus VJ equal U prime I prime plus V prime J prime. Because your D doesn't change, you only flip. If you add the magnitude and direction of the white color or the red color, you still get the white color D vector direction agree yeah if you don't understand this this question this this equation stop me yeah this explain what is happening on the screen here the blue the the white color ui plus vj is the white color on the blue color axis the red color is the one that on the yellow axis Then I the first equation is done already. Eh? 
Then I clean up the slides. I will start with uh, development of our matrix uh, equation. So the length of U, what color? U is OA. So OA with the head means the length of OA. Okay, OA. V is your AB with the head. Huh? It means the length from A to B. Again, uh, if you write BA, it's dif different. Uh. BA means from B to A. Uh. It's a different thing. Huh? So be careful on the direction. So we have defined your U and V in the length on the axis. Then same also, you do the same for the U prime. U prime is the length of O to C. O to C is your U prime. All right. Just to check your awareness. Huh? Um, Brian, are you there? Are you there? Yes, sir. What? How do you write the length of this one? How do you write V prime equal? CB. Okay, CB with the hat. Huh? Okay, good, uh, Brian. Then after that, we will rewrite the equation just now. So vector addition along x prime or x axis, right? Okay, yeah. Let's try to study a little bit. I will go slower. So second equation for the vector, we can write O C O C O C will equal to OD here, yeah? OD, let me use the different color. Huh? Uh, use a proper color. OD, it is here, to here. OD plus DC. Your OC actually consists of two lengths. OD, why we need to mention OD? Because OD is the one that cross AB. So we need to stop at the middle there because later we need to link what is the length of OD in our calculation. Okay, so OC, OC equal to OD plus DC. Okay, then I, I add something on the screen there. Do you see the green arrow? That, at on the screen. Okay, so there's a D, D uh, point added, so there is an arrow there. Uh, so we want to find the distance of uh, the point there. So we'll use a trigonometry relationship. OD, OD equal to OA cos theta because we have the angle here. Let me change my marker pen. Okay, yeah, it start getting a little bit complex here. Uh, let me use the green color. Okay, you know the angle between X and X prime. It is the, you know the angle between the white color and the blue color arrow with this theta. So you know that this is 90 degree. The AD is 90 degree. The, uh, the green color. So you get a triangular there. Okay. So recall your trigonometry uh, tangent cosine relationship. So you want to relate the base and the hypotenuse. The base and the hypotenuse we are using cos. So your OD will equal to OA cos theta. OD will equal to cos 
O, uh, OA cos theta. Yeah, stop me. Uh, if you're not able to see the triangular, we are looking at OD and OA. Don't look the arrow OD as OC. Uh, don't, be, uh, don't be understood. Uh, the red, the total red color arrow is from O to C. Yeah? But now we are dealing with this point until this point. O, D. Okay, we deal with O, D, yeah? not O, C. So O, D will equal to O, A cos theta. Again, we mentioned about the direction of our theta here. It is a positive when we have an anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise. Eh? Okay. Now, we can write, because your OA is U. Okay, your OA is U. Your OA is U. So you can write OD equal to U cos theta. So what about DC? DC, it is from here. DC will equal to AE. I add one more alphabet here on the screen. DC will equal to AE. So are you able to link what is AE by using trigonometry equation? So I add new inf information there. So you can link your AE with another direction, uh, another triangular, which is the A. E B triangular with a theta between this white color arrow and red color arrow with this theta here. So DC, okay, DC with this the length of equal to A, also equal to V sine theta because DC or e, uh, AE is actually the relationship between V or uh, AB and AE. Okay, try to understand this. Okay, this is uh, explicit uh, information that you derive from the diagram. It's not that direct. Huh? So this one you need trigonometry uh, understanding. Okay, AE will equal to V sine theta because later in your uh the one they upload on the model the powerpoint slides they will have uh, straight away you have see all the information you won't see the transition that that we have in the lecture huh? so I, I go it slow huh? you do the same for you prime this one so you know that um, your OC, your OC is U prime, right? So actually we are right, rewriting the equation. OC equal to U prime. Just now we define OC equal to OD plus DC. So your OD is U cos theta. We define just now. DC is equal to V sine theta. You get your new equation for U prime. As you can see here, the equation that you see on the screen that I highlight with the green color box here, we start relating the red arrow and the white arrow. We start relating u prime and u and v with the theta. This is the first transformation equation 
by using this diagram. Yeah, so at least if we ask you to derive u prime equal to u cos theta plus v sine, you should able to come up with this diagram. Okay, u prime, you link your u prime equal to u and v, as you see on the screen, by using the theta. Okay, after that, you also can link. We have done the, okay, what we did just now is we link u prime, already proved, u prime, you link with u and v. The next steps, you're going to link v hat. V hat with u and v also. Okay. So I'm going to go a little bit faster since you understand what's happening. We look at v. So if you look at v, cb, v, v hat is cb equal to b e minus a d. Okay. Now we are talking about where is the direction now. If you look at the screen, I will use a uh, yellow color. Okay, we are looking at CB, which is your V, equal to this length, BE minus AD, or your C. You can say that uh, the total length from uh, BE is equal to the red color plus the, the dash line here. Okay. Okay. Why 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 we do not use the 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 C here? Because we already derived the AD just now. Okay. So AD equal to C. So we straight away use the the relationship just now. Okay. So again, trigonometric equation. AD. Where is AD? AD is here equal to OA again. So looking at this triangular. With the theta here. So you try to link AD equal to OA sine theta. We are interested to find what is AD. So you use sine relationship to link the OA and AD in sine relationship. Okay, sine theta equal to DA or AD plus the length of OA. Uh, not plus, uh, divide. Uh, the, the opposite times the hypotenuse. You get sine. You realize the equation? OA, we know that OA is U, so OA change to U. Rewrite the sine theta. So your AD equal to U sine theta. BE, BE, B to E is AB cos theta. This another triangular here. This relationship is, we are looking at, oh, sorry. Look at this triangular. Okay, ABE give you a triangular with a theta. So you link what is your BE with this theta. Okay. So your BE equal to AB cos theta. Okay, make sure you understand huh, what is happening on the screen. Make sure you understand what is AD. Or it's AB link with the U and V later on. So you know that your AB is V, so you can write as uh, V cos theta. Okay, try to substitute the AD and B. What do you get? 
Okay, what is the second equation that you get? Okay, what is the equation for V prime? Ashma, are you able to answer? Put in the U and V form. Uh, what is the V prime? V prime equal to V cos theta minus U sine theta. Mm, there's a minus, huh? for V is minus already. Okay, good, huh? Ashma. So we have a negative B, V prime equal to uh, B E is V, v cos theta minus U sine theta. So I rearrange the equation because we later we need to put this one in matrix form. We we'll always start with U then V. So that's why we uh, change the sequence uh, from because if you directly divide from here you will get uh, CB equal to B minus AD you know that your B is V cos theta minus U sine theta so however in mathematic form later on we will, we will give preference to U first so that's why we, we rewrite the equation we put minus u sine theta plus v cos theta okay this is the reason why we pull the u to the front because later we need to write in the matrix form okay so we need to park the number later on so to give us some convenience later so we will rearrange according to sequence uh, u first then v okay we have two equations this now. With this, your U prime and V prime. This one. Okay, how do we match them? Okay, we have these two equations uh, that you can see on the right hand side. We put together in matrix form. Okay. On the left hand side, u prime, v prime. Again, eh, be careful on the shape of the bracket that you use, curly bracket, because this is a displacement. Again, it's a d prime displacement. Equal bracket square, because this is a constant value. C s minus s c u v. Okay. So basically, you are rearrange these two equations into metric form. Okay. Now, by this stage, you already need, you already, I think you already expert in transforming the equation into matrix form, and also you do the reverse process, the matrix into the equation. Make sure you understand how to do transformation between equation to matrix or from matrix to equation. Uh, if you don't understand, go and read the appendix. Huh? Okay. Clear? Um, Chia, you able to understand huh, what is happening on the screen? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right. So just be careful. Uh, what is need to pay a bit more attention is the there's a negative sign inside the matrix form here because of the equation. There's a negative u sine theta there. So that's why we have a negative s here. So just to cut short, uh, we don't need to always write uh, cos and sine because it's a, it takes you time, some time when so you need to analyze the matrix uh, form. So we will use, uh, from now onwards, we will use capital C to represent cos theta, capital S to represent sine theta. So we will have CS minus S and C to represent cos and sine. So new constant value for today. Previously, you look at the K 
minus k. Okay, we have a uh, different sets already. Yeah? Today we look at transformation. Later you will see the alphabet T. Okay, today we introduce you how to develop the transformation equation. Okay. So we can write in the general form. This one, U prime, V prime is your D prime. This matrix here is a transformation matrix. We write as bracket T. This one is a normal D la, that we deal previously in chapter two and chapter one. UV is a displacement. Today, we link the blue color axis to yellow color axis, the global axis to local axis. So if you see the prime, it means local. Sorry for my writing. Local. You see the prime means local, no prime means global. And they are linked up with an angle which is anticlockwise from x to x prime, anticlockwise. Okay, just to um, highlight a little bit. So you are linked with the, the the blue color to the yellow color. So again, prime is local. Without prime is the global. Okay. So um, how do you? Uh, there's a appendix in Moodle, uh, named as appendix A. There's a transformation about rotation of uh, matrix that's available in the Moodle, so you can have a look later on. Huh? So today. Uh, what we cover is the how we derive D prime equal to T D. So this is a very important matrix. And this one also. Okay, you memorize this one. The matrix form, you're able to uh, develop the equation. So just memorize U prime V prime equal to C S minus S C V uh, U and V. This one is a transformation from x to x prime. Okay, this is important transformation matrix equation. Okay, let me. Okay, uh, maybe I will. Okay. Is it okay we look at one and then we call it a day? Okay, since today is a Monday. So we look at application of what we see here. How we apply these metrics? U prime, V prime equal to C, S minus S, C, v, U and V. Okay, so if you look at the screen here, so this actually is the same as your tutorial question number six. So if you look at the diagram, you're having a axis, Y and X, and then normally in the test or exam, you will see there's an additional axis called X prime. Okay, so we try to link what is your X to X prime. Okay. All right. So we have a global nodal displacement at node 2. Had been determined to be U2. So you are given the global displacement. U2 equal to 0.1 meter. V2 equal to 0.2 meter for the bar element shown. Determine the local X displacement at 0.2. We need to find the local displacement. Okay. So before we proceed, I have one question for. Okay, who else? I have a nice question. Eh? Okay, Sue, huh? are you there, Sue? Oh, yes. Okay, Sue. Uh, on your diagram, you see 60 degree, right? Uh, yes. So this 60 degree is positive or negative? If you write angle. Uh, positive. Why? Uh, because, Why is positive? Because quarter crosswise. Positive, huh? okay, good. Huh? So, so angle <coughs> through, uh, for chapter 3 and throughout the module, if you rotate the axis, huh? We are looking at x to x prime. 
and you look at the direction, the, in this case is rotate anti-clockwise, so we get positive 60 degree. Uh, okay, so just take note on the direction. Uh, because when you come to final exam or test later on, you will not get a very organized uh, axis. I will just give you a random number. Maybe you'll get something like this. You need to do transformation from x to x prime in this direction. So maybe the theta, you need to be careful. I will just give you a, a theta and you need to decide what is the positive and negative sign. So just be careful on the angle. Okay, so how do we solve this kind of question? You just recall what is how to link the the red color axis just now to white color, All right? The u prime equal to u cos plus v sine. This is what we uh, have. So when it comes to test or final exam, write the equation first. So if you write u prime equal to cos theta plus v sine, you get one mark. You write v prime equal to minus u sine plus v cos theta, one mark. You have this if you have this setting, eh? uh, you have this setting that your angle is anticlockwise from x to x prime, then only you can use this equation. Uh, so local displacement and local replacement on x and y. So you have these two equations. So what about the U2, we interested because we are given the, the, the parameter or the value at point number two here. So you just modify the equation. The first equation you modify. So U, you're interested in point two. So you just add a sub, sub node two. U become U2. V become V2. Angle still same. You do the same for the V also. Right, so since you already have the U2 given, of course, in test or final exam, you need to find your U2 and V2. Lah. So this is just a, a, a direct explanation on the application. So you just substitute your U2. Your U2 is 0 0.1. V2 is 0 0.2. Substitute inside here. Here, you use your calculator. You manage to find your displacement at your uh, local axis u2 prime equal to 0.233 meter okay yeah so this is how you use it so let me stop the recording